Are the fearful thoughts from us, from the devil, to tempt us from the flesh or both? Sometimes we can't tell what's the flesh and what's the devil. At the end of the day, it's like it doesn't really matter. It's like your flesh is unrenewed. Your flesh, isn't, your flesh is always going to be flesh, okay? So your flesh is going to go the way of the world. Let me tell you, though, sometimes people's own flesh is their worst enemy. It is. Okay? The, you, and the devil can take don't... notes on you. Yeah, he doesn't. The, sometimes we give, we give the devil way too much credit. He doesn't right. need to actually help you out because you're doing a good job of destroying yourself. Right. And that, you know, we were just talking a moment about about what we eat. Well, this also have this also matters what we what we watch and what we imagine. And people that deal with a lot of fear, sometimes it's because of things that they're watching, so mm -hmm. the things that they're listening to. You know, um, I think it, it horrifies me honestly that that Christians would go and watch horror movies. Come on. And no. and just say, oh well, I, I know the difference. You know, it's just entertainment. They they the people that use fear as entertainment are swinging open wide open the door to the enemy coming in and, and messing with them. And he, in fact, he doesn't even need to come in and mess with them. Their own thoughts are going to produce death in their life. Okay, so we need to be careful that we we're not using our imagination in a negative way and allowing it to be misused against us. So you know, be careful because sometimes the source of fear. Um, is, is, is really what we're, what we're allowing to come in. We had a guy once um, house-sitting for us when oh, yeah. we were in, living in England. <laughs> and we lived on a farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. So we, in, in our hamlet, there was like six houses in the whole village, okay? Yeah. So really, there wasn't anyone else about. It was kind of remote, um, isolated. It was a 600-year-old house, by the way. Literally, half of it was 600 it was, years old. The other half was 400 years old. My little bit of heaven. It was, yeah, and it was type <laughs> of like gothic, and it was in the middle of this manor. And it was, it was, it was cool, right? Eerie. But he stayed there, and the um, funny thing is, we had we had um, barn cats, we had house cats because of all the mice and things on the on the farm, and we had a glass back door. And at night, the, to get in, the cat would literally jump up and hang on the handle to pull it down so it could let itself into the house. Well, he'd been watching. He watched a lot of horror movies, okay, and he was completely freaked out. When we came back from our vacation, he was like white as a ghost. I mean, like he's like wouldn't stay there again. He's like, your house is crazy, and we. So it's we, haunted. And we're like, what is going on with you? And he says, well, I'm driving. I'm driving down the. the we had like a track that went into a house. We had to get out and open the the farm gate and close it to stop the cows, right? So he says, I'm getting out and I, and I, and I go to open the gate and I didn't realise there was a massive cow head looking over the fence next to him. Moo! In the middle of the dark, right? Then he gets into his car and he drives down the track and all of it, all the time he's, he's imagining, he kept having to stop because he was frightened somebody might have climbed in the back seat mm -hmm. while he was driving along and he hadn't noticed. I mean, his mind was going crazy. And then when the cat jumps up in the middle of the night and starts to look through the door with his little eyes glowing, it just about sent him over the edge. We were rolling on the floor with mm -hmm. laughter because it was so obvious, you know, none of those things had happened to us because we hadn't filled our mind with Come the on. junk yeah, the that he had. And so fear didn't have the opportunity to propagate on the inside of him. Mm -hmm. So I just want to, you know, just be careful <laughs> what you, um, if you, if you're dealing with a lot of fear, irrational fears and negative imaginations, things like that, be yeah. careful. It might be, it might be something that you're plugging yourself into literally. Okay. So yeah. be careful what you're watching.